Hello, everybody. I had recorded two other videos today, but I'm not going to lie to you. They're both tier lists. And I kind of realized I've been doing a lot of tier lists. I, I, I don't want to do only tier lists, guys. I swear. I just have a lot of ideas that involve tier lists. Um, now, that being said, I did want to do something different. So I was praying that something cool would happen today. And you know what? Something kind of RA happened. Blizzard announced season 11, which if you know... My opinion on Overwatch 2, I'm sure you've seen the video, if, if you follow me, you've seen the video where I said I'm not going to cover it as much. Um, that being said, like I said in that video, I'm not not covering Overwatch, I'm just not going to be my main thing anymore. Uh, so I do still want to talk about it when stuff like this happens. And we've got, there's a lot here, there's a lot. Do I think it's, we're just going to start it off with, do I think it's all very good? No, I'm not going to lie to you. I think a lot of this is looking pr pretty, pretty bad, honestly, to be honest with you. Not to say the skins are bad or whatever. I just really, it's not looking good to me. Uh, and we'll talk about that later, I'm sure. First things first, though, let's just read this. Gear up for an epic showdown as Ultra Watch faces Mythic Calamity Empress Ash. Plus, celebrate 100 million heroes with the return of Pink Mercy and much more. Overwatch Season 11, or, yeah, Overwatch 2 Season 11 Super Mega Ultra Watch arrives June 20th. So I will say one thing, people hating on this theme are stupid because I think this theme is OK. I'm, they're not stupid because I get it. Not, not every theme is for everybody, but also like, dude, we had a fucking you remember that Arisa mythic like that shit was ass. Why was no one? Well, OK, people were complaining about that. But why are why is everyone like this theme sucks when we literally had a theme that was like bug season? It was like, all right, here's the bug, the bug army thing. I don't know. It's stupid. Uh, but I, I think the Genji skin looks good. That's what I'll say. Um, Get ready to unleash your inner superhero with the legendary Ultra Watch skins. Uh, the Fallen Mythic Calamity Empress Ash. Alongside her no good mis miscrint. I, I, I don't even know what that word is. I'm not going to lie. Holy shit, I feel stupid. That's so rare that I see a word that I don't even know what that is. A person who behaves in a bad way or breaks the law. Yes, okay. Um, has risen to power up the Ultra Watch. Yeah, yeah, okay. Create Calamity with the new Mythic Rewards. Being evil will blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Experience enhanced visual effects and her ultimate featuring a fiendish summoning circle and a massive magical rune. You can unlock Calamity Emp Empress Ash when you collect 50 Mythic Prisms, then continue collecting Prisms to customize the Diabolical Fallen Empress with three additional configurations. Yeah, I'll be honest. I've seen people, I've seen people saying they like and don't like this Ash skin. I don't think this, uh, like, I don't want to say it doesn't fit her, uh, but it just doesn't. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Why are we putting an Ash? Why is Ash getting this mythic skin? I, I might come off as a salty tank main, but this season is literally about fucking Ultra Watch. Like, this is the perfect season to give D.Va the mythic. And they just didn't. I don't know if it's because they want to subvert expectations or something. I don't know. From what I saw, though, I did see a video that showed this has a lot of different color customization, which is good because I have always said that I think it's kind of weird that we have color customization, but it's not like a bunch. It's like here's like five colors compared to like we're not even five. It's like here's like three colors compared to like Fortnite, even their most basic customizable skin. It's like here's every single color and you can just choose pick and choose two of them and combine them. I don't understand why we did, at least didn't have like five <laughs> like I, I just didn't. Hopefully, it's not more expensive, though, just for those colors. And I also, I will say, it is kind of concerning that it says three additional configurations. Does that just mean that she has three different, like, mini style things? Because that's kind of lame. Um, and then here's the other big thing, which I really don't like. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think it's necessarily horrible. I just don't like it very much. We've got the mid-season update. We'll be introducing a new type of Mythic cosmetic, the Mythic Hero Weapon skins. Like our heroic weapon skins, you'll be able to equip a mythics weapon skin for any hero skin. Wow, that was a lot of skin in one sentence, Jesus, uh, for the matching hero. And will come with exclusive sound and exclusive visuals. Another way to spend your mythic prisms, you can unlock the base skin of 50 prisms, then unlock... Oh, wait, what? Fuck. And then unlock additional levels at 10 mythic prisms, per including a weapon flourish emote, elimination visual effects, and reactive effects. Stay tuned to unlock... Incredible powers with the Mythic Bound Demon Ryan Heart skin weapon skin. Jesus, I'm struggling to read. This is insane. <laughs> uh, da, blah blah. Da, flourish your hammer by spinning it in the air. Defeat your foes and watch as the demon's power grows on every match you play. 
You'll be calling out big slam as opponents fall in a fiery surge through every earth shatter. So I'm a big Reinhardt fan. Um, and I will say, I like the idea of having multiple choices in a season, especially if one's a weapon season, a weapon skin, and then the other's a mythic. Because, for example, if you did this in the Orisa season, no one would have done the gotten the Orisa skin. <laughs> like, if you released that Orisa mythic skin, and then you were like, oh, and here's a Genji blade that's mythic, every single person would have gone and got that mythic Genji blade, and that's kind of cool. One thing that I will say, though, that is kind of concerning is... This means, and like it says in the battle pass, you're only able to get one of these. Which, once again, I like having choice. But also, that means that you're going to have to start spending money if you want every single mythic. And these mythic sins are not cheap. <laughs> they are not. And I know people are going to be like, well, Valorant sells $300 bundles. And they don't actually. They sell 100 But I'm not going to defend that shit either. Valorant's prices are also fucking miserable. <laughs> like, I don't understand why people always say that. Like, well, this game has expensive skins. Yeah, fucking CSGO is like $5,000 skins. And you know what? It's stupid. It is. It just is. I don't know what to tell you. Um, that being said, cool stuff. I really hope that it's like really cool, though, because to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of the Demon Reinhardt like aesthetic. I kind of fuck with just normal Reinhardt. Uh, like is well, OK, normal Reinhardt as in like the Minotaur Reinhardt skin, to be honest with you. I don't think I'll ever take that shit off. But, once again, I like the choice, because for me personally, I'm not going to get this. I just don't care. I will get this, though. And I also do like the idea that it sh looks like it grows every match. Well, okay, maybe not. It looks like you're probably going to get, like, when you elim stuff, or maybe if you do a lot of damage, it'll, like, charge up or something, which is kind of cool. I like the idea. Once again, though, don't like that they're probably going to make you're now going to have to start paying like $40 every season if you want every mythic, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. OK, it doesn't kind of suck. I'm not going to lie. That just super sucks. Now that I said that out loud. Yeah, that that's I might even be more, but I'm pretty sure it was $40. Uh, not a huge fan. Join Ultra Watch, blah, blah, unlock new skins as you progress through 80 tiers of nonstop and excitement this season. Wait, was there always 80 tiers? I swear there was a hundred, right? Or am I tweaking? I've been there's too many battle passes now, and I've been playing a lot of multiverses, and their battle pass is only 70 tiers. Wow, it is dark in here. Yeah, my light, the little like streamer light that I have, uh, it's currently not working. So unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to be here in the darkness. Also, did you see how long it's been since I played Overwatch? Yeah, that shows you something. And you wanna know what I was doing the last time I was playing Overwatch? Blah, blah, blah. I was not there mentally. Um Let's see the battle pass. Oh, I guess it is only 80 tiers. Oh, I thought they were reducing the tier count. Okay. Well, okay, that's fine. I actually, I wouldn't have mind, honestly, if they did decrease the tier count because it feels like there's a lot of gimmick shit in the battle pass still. Up to 80 mythic prisms, which means you can get one of these skins maxed out probably. Five legendary skins, lifeguard Lucio epic skin. That actually sounds cool. 500 credits and additional rewards featuring souvenirs, weapon charms, victory poses, highlight intros, everything in the battle, free battle pass, including two additional epic skins, 600 overwatch coins, and an additional 1,500 credits and more. Uh, there's so many currencies, I'm starting to get confused. Are credits... Credits are for the old skins. So you get 2,000 for the old skins, which lets you buy two skins. And then 600 Overwatch coins, which, okay, so it's still the same. Okay. Then the Ultimate Battle Pass bundle with Kaiju Roadhog and Kaiju Zenyatta skins and Rampage Run. Yeah. I will say this Genji skin is the one skin that I think actually looks really, really, really good in this theme. Uh, the Roadhog skin looks cool, but I'm not paying extra for that. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh... Then they're bringing back Pink Mercy. 100% of the purchase price from these items will benefit the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. I gotta say, normally I'm a hater for stuff like, like you know, I, I, I don't like it when they... Well, okay, I'm not a hater to bringing stuff back. But normally I just don't... I, I, I would call this type of shit out and be like, why are you bringing this back now? You're clearly desperate for players. But honestly, I don't care because it's 100% going to charity. And as long as Blizzard actually does do that, I'm fine with this, man. Like... That's totally cool. I think they should do more stuff like this, honestly, because then I would be willing to maybe buy a skin if it does support stuff like that. Um. Oh, there, I saw something interesting there. I will say they also have a rose gold 
Mercy skin. I don't think it looks very good, but I will say, I, cool, cool that it's coming back. This looks super interesting. Overwatch 2 Community Crafted Mode is back for celebrating all heroes, and we've recruited some of your favorite Overwatch 2 creators to come up with fun ideas for diff your favorite heroes. I, they have needed to do this for so fucking long, because I'll be honest with you, it's clear Blizzard can't balance shit. Uh, I, I'm not going to hold back on Blizzard anymore. You guys can't do shit. <laughs> you have not balanced the game well, ever. Like, I don't understand. It's actually crazy. Uh, so I'm glad that they're at least doing something. Emong has ideas for tanks that are a big slam the competition. It's QQ will just adjust hit scan damage heroes. So watch out for them and click heads like never before. Get ready for hot, cool, and explosive changes as Custa brings new and returning tricks to projectile damage heroes. Finally, SK tinkers with around the supports and explores tricks to make them flying through the air. Okay, so I will say, I don't know if I like it being multiple different people working on... like. You kind of need the, the 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 mode to have an idea because that was the problem with all their community modes last time. Would they would separate it into th like three different people would do each of the roles, which I get. Not everyone plays every character, but it just made it feel super inconsistent because it was like, oh, tanks are fucking like crazy now, and then it, on the other side it was like, oh well, DPS are we just balanced them? We didn't actually buff them and make them crazy, so now DPS just kind of sucks. Hopefully it's good though. I, like I said, I, I think they've been needing to do this. It's clear they can't. It's clear the fucking devs either just don't understand at all what the community is ever like saying, or they just don't balance for it, which is fine. Hopefully this is a little more balanced and fun. Cause I'll be honest, the balance of the game has been horrible recently. So we'll see what that is. Log in and play, uh, play up to 40 games and earn the Aztec Sombra bundle. Features a festive legendary skin, name card, and spray. Also four... Okay, so it's just like a bonus little thing. Twitch drops, don't care. Runasapi is a new push map. Thank fucking God we finally got another push map, because I swear to God we get push... Uh, I... So, okay, I actually hate push. I think it's the worst mode that's ever been in this game. But the thing that made it even worse than every other mode that's ever been in this game was the fact there was like four maps and every single one of them was dog shit. <laughs> like genuinely. I don't mean to come off as being an asshole, but genuinely every single push map is miserable. Like they all just are no fun at all. So I'm glad that we're at least getting a new one. Hopefully it feels better. I don't think it will because it's push. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I will say I really... I, I think something they need to do, this is probably a hot take, but they I think we need a map like vote system. Because if I could never play fucking push again, I would actually probably play this game like 10 times more. But I get push more than any other mode and it's fucking miserable. I hate it so much. Hopefully it's good. We'll see. Hero Mastery for Kiriko and Soldier 76. I'll be honest, I don't really care about these at all, so we're going to skip right over. We've got a host of buffs for our many heroes across the three roles. Uh, in addition to various hero buffs, Cassidy's trading in the magnetic grenade for a new and improved flashbang that will be sure to slow trap those in their tracks. We're back to the flashbang. Let's go. Overwatch 1 is coming back so slowly. I... I can't... I This is so unserious, bro. What the fuck? I mean, I'm glad. I hate Cass. Cass is the worst fucking character right now. He's so fucking miserable because you just spam right click roll and then hit people with that stupid fucking magnetic grenade. So I, I'm glad that's calm, but still Jesus. Uh, and then, yeah, they they got rid of the glass on Coliseo, which I will say that was so dumb. What the fuck are they thinking with the glass there? Like, I, I don't even understand the whole gimmick of this map is supposed to be like, oh, it's a Coliseum. It's all open when you walk through. There's like big gates between each place. It's like the whole thing. But then there was just a piece of glass which made it so you can't shoot there. And it was like, okay, that's just kind of really weird, but okay. So I actually do like that. Uh, we're also making it easier for you to complete your weekly challenges. If you miss a week, you can catch up on the previous week's challenges before working on the current week's challenge. Weekly milestones are easier to achieve than before as well. Now we complete three weekly challenges and instantly get 20,000 XP. As each week progresses, a new milestone reward becomes available. These changes allow for you to plan your own schedule without having to miss out on earning battle pass. Okay, actually good. Actually good change right there. I'm not going to lie. That's actually a good change. Because that has been so fucking frustrating for me. 
this entire time. I've been bitching and complaining about the challenges this whole time as a casual player. They're just miserable. I no streamers ever complain about it because fucking obviously they game the they, they literally play the game all day. Of course the challenges are not even a problem for them because they're going all fucking day. But for your average dude, no fucking ch you had to sit there for like three hours, usually straight, just to finish all of them with you actively like fighting to finish them. I'm glad that they're finally they honestly they. In my opinion, they should be like Fortnite challenges where you can do all of the challenges from the previous week like over and over and you can all you can just pretty much do them all in the end of the season. I would like that, but this is better than nothing. So, you know what? I'll take it. All things considered, mostly good stuff. The one thing that I will say that's a little concerning is like why didn't we show off any of this at the BlizzCon, we're not BlizzCon, the Microsoft event? Because there was stuff here, like, I think you could have absolutely shown off a Season 11 trailer. I, maybe the hate on Overwatch, they were just like, people aren't going to respond well to that. And I will say, for a season, I don't want to say there's not much, but it doesn't feel like there's a whole bunch here. Like, maybe the map's really cool. I guess, to be fair, I just really don't like push, so that's not super exciting to me, this new map. So it kind of just feels like, for me, we're getting a new battle pass, which is... Eh. Hopefully the balance... We, I, I'm not, I, I don't even want to get into the balance, but I'll just say hopefully they do a good job there because... Some, it's been said a million fucking times, but I'm going to say it again. Tank is fucking miserable. Don't get me wrong. Tank is good now, like it's actually a good role. You're probably the most impactful person on your team. And even Reinhardt is like actually playable now. But Tank is still just so fucking unfun. Like there's no fun to be had playing the entire role, even though you're so strong. So they need to look into Tank. Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, if anybody from Blizzard watches this video on the balancing team, first of all, I'm not sorry for a single thing I said. <laughs> Y'all don't balance this game. The second of all, please, like, do something with Tank. It is so clear that Tank is a big problem, and I know I know it's become, like, a debate if this is even true, but Overbuff recently, Samido actually pointed this out to me. Well, I saw it. He didn't, like, tell me, but I saw it from him. If you look at roll, like, percent... Uh, I think it was, what was it? It was fucking competitive, especially. Pick rate. If you look at tank, it is really below what it should be. Like, if you look... Yeah, there it is. Okay, so, notice how for the past 12 months, 6 months, 3 months, tank pick rate is about 20. And it's the same in casual as well. But then, if you go to this month, it is dropping significantly and this is what's happening blizzard you guys yes you have treated tank like absolute fucking shit don't even try to lie or deny that you guys have treated this role like dog shit you don't balance it ever it feels like tank was literally miserable and downright unplayable for about nine seasons straight and then when they do try to fix it they just don't address the actual problem I'm not even saying you need to do 6v6, but you need to change something because shit is bad right now. It is really insufferable. And then also that that is the other part of it. In competitive tank pick rate is even lower. So, and before somebody says overbuffed isn't accurate, I know it's not completely accurate. Nothing ever is. But since Blizzard doesn't give us any numbers, we got to go with what we got. And this is what we got. And Blizzard did recently come out and say that it's semi-accurate. So this is concerning is what you should know. The fact that 12% of players are picking tank is really bad. Um, and then also something else you will notice is support has completely taken over every other role. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even the guy to be like support is OP, but damage was at 40%. Tank has always been the lowest. Support is at 58%. <laughs> like, we are... Support is fucking good right now. And it's similar in... It's similar here as well, by the way. So, you know, I, I hope Blizzard does some 
puts in some work to tank. Like these these balance changes, I know they aren't going to be very big because if they were, they would have said like we got some really big tank changes coming up like they did with season 10. Uh, but honestly, those weren't very big. And I'm concerned that we're not going to get anything very big. I'm also, I would not be shocked if Blizzard nerfs Reinhardt because Blizzard, when Reinhardt is good in like the high ranks like he is right now, he's very good in the low ranks, that means. The problem is though, is when you kill, when you nerf Reinhardt right now, you are about to see the community erupt because that is the only reason that tank players are even somewhat happy right now is Reinhardt is somewhat pickable finally, somewhat. And the second that goes away, y'all about to get flamed. Uh, yeah, so Blizzard fixed tank season 11 is looking all right. That's what I'll say. I don't think it's looking like really good or anything, but it's looking all right. And that's about it. Oh, yeah. And that was the other thing. One more thing. I actually do like the theme. I know that a lot of people have been hating on the theme. I actually think the theme is cool. I just think the skins that oh, the skins they made just aren't very good for it. I'm not going to lie, especially the Sojourn one. That shit is ass. That's about it.